Good morning, friends. Good morning. So today we're doing something a little different. I know usually when I come here, I'm all about balloons. I'm all about decor. I'm all about showing you guys my event space or just showing you guys my different party rentals that I have. If you don't know who I am, my name is Latifa Pugh. I am the owner of Coins Decor LLC. We are your event one-stop shop. What are our services? We offer everything from rentals, decor, balloons, custom balloon gifts, and we own our own intimate space as well. If you want to learn one or two tips on how to market in your community, stay tuned. Welcome back. So today we're going to be discussing how I market in my local community. As a small business owner who actually owns an event space or who actually owns a showroom or a venue, a place where people can come in and walk through, getting your name out in the community or any business as a whole, getting your name out in the community, I've been finding to be the most a difficult part of this journey. Yes, I said it. It's easy to post on social media to people who are not in your area. It's easy to post on social media in general to get clicks, to get likes. But you want to go directly to the people in your community who you know are local, who do you know will spread the word about you, and who you know will come in, walk in, and support you. One of the ways I do that is by giving back to the community. That just means sometimes I offer a sponsorship. Sometimes I offer a burglar program, which is you do if you can do this for me, I would do this for you. So it's kind of a service exchange that works well for both parties. Some of what we've done, for example, was last summer. Let, let me take our last recent event. Last summer, we was able to be a part of our local parade. The parade was free. However, there was no entry fee. It was free to the public. It was free to everyone in Bristol, PA, which is our location. And the entire community comes out just to see different balloon floats, different floats as a whole, and everything else. So what did I do? It was Christmas. So I went ahead and I created a balloon Christmas tree and we created a float. My entire family was on the float and we was able to throw out candies. So when we throw out candies, we was able to put little candies in the little, you can either put it in a drawstring bag, which I will use next time, because this time I use a Ziploc bag and use my sealer. But into that bag wasn't just candy, because the point is you want people to remember who you are. So we was able to put some candy in the bag and create these little flyers. I'm going to actually insert a picture so you guys can see. And the flyers just simply says our business name, location, address, and website. And it says, Happy Holidays from Queens Decor. Now, it did give a discount code for all of our party rentals since that's what we want to attract people with who are having DIY events or who just want to have something little. We The first thing we put in front of them was our party rentals and our balloons because we sell anything from helium balloons to custom balloon, balloon gifts. So that's what we presented them with. Now, why is this conversation important? Because getting involved in your community is key. I went ahead and actually wrote a Amazon journal for specifically for small businesses that talks about how to get started in your community. So if you want to check that out, I'll put the link in the description. Now, what are we doing now? This weekend, we are actually donating our services. So let me say that again. We're donating our services. I am donating my talent and knowledge, not the supplies. We are donating a balloon arch and two columns to my, my kids' school. My oldest daughter, Emily, and my other baby, Kayla, goes to a charter school, and they're having a, do a daughter and father dance. Whew. So they are super excited about that, and so am I. I took that opportunity, and I said, well, I go to this school. I have um, done balloons there in the past just because my my 
And my five-year-old Kayla is kind of bougie, so she didn't want to take pictures with a welcome sign because it was just black and empty. So I created a little balloon thing and tied it to the fence, which all of the parents love. But my mistake, learn from me, is I could have simply put a yard sign that says balloons donated by Queen's Decor. Follow us on Instagram with our business address and phone number. This year, I will be doing it again to every school my kids go to. <laughs> that way, all of the now you got all of the parents that are in that school, you got their attention. Like, who is she? They're already questioning who you are by the balloons. Now, put a statement piece that tells them, that answer the who is she right next to it. So, back to the father and daughter dance. We was able to donate our services this weekend. So, the school is, do is buying their balloons. That's a whole nother story time. I really hate when, when people purchase balloons, but I understand this is a school and we're just donating our services. So, yes, the school is purchasing their balloon of our favorite place, Amazon. And what we're doing is actually taking our arch stand. I, I'm going to get the balloons from them to blow it up ahead of time and make them. I'll be creating the columns, the two columns, and I'll be creating a single arch. Where does community marketing come into place? They are going to be handing out thank you bags to each and every parent. So now, in their thank you bag, they're going to have this lovely, lovely discount card that says, Queens Decor LLC, Party Rental, and Balloon Shop. It gives our address, it gives our phone number, and it gives our website with our logo. You put your logo so that when they find you on social media, because on my social media, usually all of my usually all of my profile pictures are my business logo, they can easily identify something familiar. And then under that it says thank you. That's it. From a key soon mom. That is the tag, that is where you're going to get their attention. You want them to know that it's another parent who donated her services or who donated her time and her service to make the dance a success so that they can be able to come and support you in any way that they can. And then it says, for all of our new customers, get 10% off. Or all of Keystone parents get 10% off. And then it has the dance 2023 with another little thing that I'm not going to give you guys, but it has a little code in there so I can identify where did this sale come from. So when you're doing these things, you have to put a marker in there so that when somebody calls and says, hey, I want some balloons, here is the code, you can be able to identify from that code exactly where you did the work to be able to reap the reward. That is how I market in my local community. I do so by sponsoring events, donating my services, or even we have donated a prom to a family who was on the news and we was able to be mentioned in the credits, not on the actual news because it was my first time. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just too excited to help a child who lost her father to the gun violence and she was going off to prom. This if you want more lists or more conversation like these on how to market in your local community, let me know in the comments. Number one, you can also plan your entire 2023 with our journal, which is on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the bio as well. Again, my name is Latifa P. Harris. I just want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I know it was a bit different. But I figure, let's get some education in the mix. We are your party one-stop shop. We are also a balloon shop, a rental company that sells anything from, that rents anything from linens to throne chairs to folding chairs and tables. We offer balloons from helium balloons, balloons gifts, custom arches. We have our intimate space who holds up to 50, that holds up to 50 guests called King's Venue. And we are a full-time entrepreneur and decorator. Follow us for more. Like, comment, share if you must. And let me know if you would like to see more conversations like these.
should be fighting over you